we set up the 903 facility with the declared goal to create an environment that inspires collaboration between disciplines. We're certainly sensitive to individual process requirements, but we are very careful not to restrict people from doing processing. So we now have people from biology working successfully next to people from chemistry, electrical engineering and physics. Even people from the medical school utilize the facility. A lot of work uh, currently being done inside the Nano3 facility is in the areas of nanophotonics, in nanoscience of fundamental devices, as well as in uh, nanotechnology for biomedical applications, just to name a few. We're truly fortunate to have great staff with backgrounds in the areas of physics, chemistry and electrical engineering. The staff has demonstrated fantastic dedication since the inception of the facility and really takes pride in attempting to make Nano3 one of the premier facilities. Over the course of the last two years, we've also engaged with more than 40 companies, ranging from large publicly traded companies to uh, many local startup companies. In fact, I would submit that it is with the local startup companies that we are truly helping the local economy because these companies would otherwise not be able to finance facilities that would enable them to process devices. In fact, we have a few success stories where we, the fact that people were able to process devices inside the Nano3 facility has enabled local startup companies to raise additional venture capital funds. The facility itself is currently investing in the development of a user process for nano imprinting. We think that this is a truly exciting technology because it will enable nanoscale processing for a variety of disciplines. We really believe that if we manage to simplify this process efficiently, we will ultimately enable many users that are non-traditional users of micro or nanotechnologies to be able to develop and work with uh, devices at the nanoscale.